me to sign the classroom disclosure that outlines the behavior that you expect from my son when he is in your class in terms of homework, absences, tardies, misconduct. This year we're going to do something a little different. Since my son will be in your class, you will become kind of a de facto member of our family. Therefore, I am going to have you sign the Demolsky family disclosure. <laughs> this is going to outline my roles to which you will agree, starting with materials needed by the teacher. First and foremost, a good sense of humor. Having grown up around other comedians, comedy clubs, movie sets, the Demolsky children have been raised with a fair dose of irony, exaggeration, witticism, and all out smart aleck remarks. <laughs> Though I don't condone physical discipline, I'm not above the use of sarcasm and, mo and mockery to show a teenager the error of his ways. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, the Demolsky children have developed their own brand of quick-witted humor, and as their teacher, I expect you to keep up. <laughs> so that's, I expect you to keep up and therefore if they say something that is out of the norm, you're going to have to rise to the occasion. But I don't expect you to say anything that will put you in jeopardy with the school district in terms of bad language or just all out improper teacher behavior. Really, I don't care about any of that. Trust me. My kids have heard and seen it all. <laughs> also, you are expected to have an entertaining demeanor. I cannot tolerate my kids whining about how bad you are as a teacher. If you cannot put on a dog and pony show that is compelling enough to keep my kids awake in your class, that is your problem. Really, don't call me in for some parent-teacher conference about how we all need to work together to make sure that my kids are, are motivated in school. On the contrary, to alleviate the issue, I expect you to step it up by learning some magic tricks <laughs> or the art of hypnotism, juggling puppies, spinning plates, doing the can-can in full Parisian garb, some little comedy shtick of your own, whatever it takes to make sure that the little darlings are fully engaged for the two hours they firmly planted in your class. Lesser effort will not be tolerated. Next, required reading. Because my child is in your class, you are required to read Confessions of a Family Mom. <laughs> Available in bookstores and on Amazon.com, written by yours truly, the mom and chief of the Domalski children. This is a excellent single volume text on a, by a self-proclaimed self expert on parenting with absolutely no training whatsoever other than the emotional and physical scars of raising two boys. This will tell you all about the family dysfunction that has become second nature to my kids. As your teacher, I expect you to change your schedule and your teaching style to conform. You will be given one copy of this book. If you lose or <laughs> damage it, you are expected to replace it at your own expense. <laughs> However, the used copies are hard to find because once somebody reads it, they're hard pressed to get rid of it. <laughs> so you've been warned. Okay. Next, homework. You are required to read pages every night out of the Confessions of the Band Geek Mom until it is complete. If you need uh, any advice on the text, feel free to talk to either one of my children, although they do take some issue with some of the events depicted. However, you may schedule office hours with my younger son, Quinn, uh, anytime Monday through Friday, 2.30 to 5, in the Park City High School band room of which he spends every waking free moment practicing one of eight instruments I cannot afford. <laughs> Assignments. You are also expected to join Facebook, uh, if you're not on there already, as I will post 
quips about you. <laughs> Funny little things on family and, and school. And as I said, at some point, I'm going to say something on there about you. So if you want to know what all the hubbub is about, I suggest that you get on there pronto. And by all means, if you want to make a funny little comment, feel free. But I warn you, I warn you, sharpen your wit first or suffer the consequences. You are a teacher, for crying out loud. Show us some comedic intellect. Prep time. Are you kidding me? I have no free hours in the day. Sometimes I can't even remember what day it is. If I had time to plan ahead, I would have remembered to take my birth control pills 18 years ago. <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> Disciplinary action. Trust me, you do not want me coming in there for any negative reason. Just ask any of our previous teachers from McCullen, Ecker, or Treasure Mountain Middle School. Or you can even ask one of the five, count them, five superintendents that this, this district has had since my oldest child started kindergarten. I am begging you, unless I share DNA with somebody who is bleeding or is on fire, I do not want to have to come in there to participate in the teaching of your class. I assume that the hiring committee that hired you checked out all of your references and that you know what you're doing. That's great. Just be reasonable, read the book, we're going to get along fine. As an indicator that you have read and understood the rules in the Demolsky family disclosure, please sign and return immediately to me. Your grade as a teacher depends upon it. That means that it's just around town word of mouth, but that is going to be a lot more binding than any class you've had in college or graduate school. If you need to get a hold of me, you may do so through phone or email. However, I respond a lot quicker to happy hour or dinner reservation. <laughs> That's it. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to a completely uneventful year with you. Now please leave me the heck alone. <laughs>